Video number 88 from Mythological Religious Series Book 4 Ancient Pyramids Worldwide Part 5 China, Asia Dear fellow truth seekers, in the past few weeks I have shared with you some mysterious megalithic constructions in Europe, the Middle East, and South America. And until today, it remains a mystery as to how did our supposedly primitive ancestors build them. In the past four weeks, I have shared information about other ancient megalithic constructions in a specific pyramidal shape that are found in Africa, i.e. in Egypt, Nubia or Sudan, as well as in America and in Asia, i.e. Indonesia, and in Europe, i.e. in Bosnia. Now, I will continue sharing information concerning one more pyramid in Asia, i.e. China. The Great White Pyramid of China Jiangxi Province in Northwest China is known for its rich archaeological treasures. Located near the west bank of the Yellow River, the second longest river in China and the sixth longest river system in the world, the Shimao site was discovered in 1976. With an area of 4.25 million square meters, it is the largest archaeological site in China from the late Neolithic period. The Shimao archaeological site is believed to be built around 2300 BCE and abandoned around 1800 BCE due to climate change and desert invasion. In the last century, large amount of jade items were unearthed drawing attention to the site. More tools, graves, and mural paintings have been found in the ancient city ruins. Not too far south from Shimao is a city called Xi'an, still in the province of Shanxi. And in this city, several pyramids have been discovered. Previous to making this video, I couldn't find any information concerning this pyramid, and it has been said that it is just a hill that is shaped like a pyramid. But, Recently, some information, although still very little, can be found in the internet. In 1945, U.S. Air Force pilot James Gossman was flying his plane between India and China when suddenly a glimmer catch his eye. Emerging from the plains of China's heartland, he spotted it, a tremendous pyramid that would put the one in Giza to shame. It was pure white on all sides, he said. The remarkable thing was the capstone, a huge piece of jewel-like material that could have been crystal. There was no way we could have landed, although we wanted to. We were struck by the immensity of the thing. Two years later, Colonel Maurice Sheehan, the Far Eastern Director for Transworld Airline, reported the same experience. This time, the New York Times ran his story and the world was fascinated with what could be one of the biggest finds in archaeological history. But is the 1000 feet or 300 meters pyramid actually real? And if so, had anyone dared go inside? Fast forward half a century and the answer is definitely clearer, but not crystal. Today, Google Earth will show anyone with the right coordinates evidence of not just one, but several pyramids in Xi'an. There are nearly 40 known pyramids, but not all are easily distinguishable to the human eye. They are covered with trees and grass, and supposedly many date back to 8,000 years, which means they are older than the pyramids in Egypt. These pyramids are shaped like giant flat-top burial mounds for ancient emperors. In that way, they almost have more in common with the Mesoamerican pyramids. But the region is, in essence, China's version of both Giza and the Valley of the Kings, particularly because there are a whole lot of royalty hiding under that dirt that no one has dared disturb. Here's an image taken from Google Earth. You can see the Grand White Pyramid that is said to be 20 times the volume of the Great Pyramid of Giza actually exists. A few pyramids are visible, but no traces of a germ or crystal poking out the top. As early as the 17th century, a Roman Jesuit wrote about the pyramids, 
and in 1785, the French Orientalist and Sinologist Joseph de Guin wrote an essay in which we prove the Chinese are an Egyptian colony. As academic Tix Westines explains, both use hieroglyphic to hide their secret wisdom. Egyptians and Chinese both venerate the tradition. They were avid practitioners of science, in particular astronomy, and they believed in the transmigration of souls. How could it not be that those monuments of mankind, the pyramids and the Great Wall, had been built by the same people? For centuries, the pyramids slept in undetected peace until the dawn of the 20th century and its technology shook things up. The Chinese pyramids of that region are built of mud and dirt and are more like mounds than the pyramids of Egypt, reported a science newsletter in 1947. But the region is little traveled. American scientists who have been in the area suggest that the height of a thousand feet or 300 meters more than twice as high as any of the Egyptian pyramids may have been exaggerated, because most of the Chinese mounds of that area are built relatively low. The location is in an area of great archaeological importance, but few of the pyramids have ever been explored. Now don't forget, when we talk about the Chinese pyramids, we are only talking about the information that has been made available by a rather tight-lipped Chinese government. Western archaeologists have, to this day, rarely been permitted to investigate the sites. What's more, they appear overgrown by shrubs and abandoned at first glance. In a handful of photos of the pyramids, such as this one, the shrubs are clearly deliberately planted. Methodically even, many are cypress, one of the fastest growing trees out there. What could they be covering up? Almost certainly emperors and even their afterlife companions and not just their spouses. Hor horses, for example, were very revered in ancient China and massive horse burials were practiced across Asia and many Indo-European countries. The tomb of Duke Jing of Qi, 547 until 490 BCE, contained over 600 horses. Unearthing hundreds of sacred beasts would be impressive enough, but in 1974, the world got a peak of a truly next-level discovery. Two farmers were digging just outside Xi'an in March 1974 when they discovered the famous terracotta army of the Chinese first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. There were legends he'd been buried inside a veritable mini-city with palaces, carriages, treasures, and anything else he'd need in the afterlife. And through luck or fate, his farmers hit the jackpot. This site is so massive. Researchers are going to be digging there for centuries, archaeologist Kristin Romy told Life Science in 2012. You see, even the emperor himself hasn't even been discovered yet. Or if he has, officials are too afraid to go near him. Legend also tells of the Emperor being surrounded by a tunnel of a hundred man-made mercury-filled rivers. It is also said those who knew where the tomb was were killed to keep it a secret during its construction and long after. Hence the ghostly soldier army, this isn't a place that wants visitors. So in matters of understanding the pyramid mausoleums, Emperor Kins is just the tip of the iceberg. Some of the pyramid sites like the Han Yanling Mausoleum have been open for tourism, but no one is unearthing them anytime soon. Why? For one, the Chinese government says the technology just doesn't exist yet to excavate the pyramids without damaging its contents. The other reason could be because of cultural reason. Chinese culture's strong veneration of tradition could mean they simply wish to leave their royalty at peace, which means we'll have no choice but to watch them recede back into the earth with their secrets, until someone decides otherwise. And maybe there are other reasons that we do not know yet. Dear fellow truth seekers, 
In this video, I'm not going into deeper analysis yet, nor share my personal theory. Right now, I'm just sharing some information concerning these megalithic constructions first. However, based on everything I have shared in this channel alone, I can confidently state that the chronology of humanity's prehistory is incorrect. Also, as time goes by, older and older findings keep on coming up to the surface. Therefore, it is safe to say that I think our prehistory is much, much older than what is told by conventional historians. I will go into the details when it is time to do so after sharing all the information needed to draw a conclusion. This is the last video where I'm sharing information concerning ancient megalithic constructions in pyramidal shape, at least for now. Yes, there are still more pyramids in other parts of the world, such as the Ziggurat of Ur in present-day Iraq that is dated at circa 2100 BCE. But I've decided to leave this one out since this is not really pyramidal in shape, although some might argue otherwise. So I've decided to end this pyramidal video series for the moment. However, next week in my next video or videos, I would like to get back to analyze further about the most well-known, magnificent and studied pyramid in the world, the Great Pyramid of Khufu in Giza, Egypt. At the meantime, allow me to thank you for watching and hope to see you next week.